I'm interpreting the marble and creating sound as I imagine the marble would sound to help dogs visually. I'm interested in the idea of a kaleidoscope and the link of kaleidoscope and sound, which actually I thought could tie in with the book matching method that the designer before me used. Once I saw the marble and thought more about it and started trying out some ideas, I decided I wanted to keep it purely about sound and not creating a physical object and thinking about the sound as design in terms of where it's coming from, from the object before, how the sound is going to be used as something functional in relation to design in the space that it's going to be in. I want to create a definite direct link with the marble and the object. So when you look at the marble and you listen to the sound, it's like an extension of the marble. And this is adding another layer to your senses. So I'm taking a snapshot of a piece of the marble. It was pretty exciting actually. I didn't think I would get that excited by it. Converting that through a computer program into sound. And from the sound, I'm extracting a pattern and creating a sound piece. This half is the grain from one of the pieces of marble. I book matched it to, and I like this image that was created. I changed the grading and put it into uh, some software that will translate the grain, the shape and thickness and density of the grain into sound. And you can see this image across the top. That's a kind of rough shape of what's happening with the grain. From there, I output a sound file, which is this. That's the visual representation, so that's the actual sound of how this looks like. And from here, I listened to the sound, looked at the shape, looked at the marble, and just started extracting uh, rhythms and patterns from the sound file, which... <laughs> beginning of the sound is the grain here, which is quite thick, and you get and the flow down, you've got this kind of flow through. Um, I like the, the shape of the grain, the way it flows along, and it kind of dissipates out at the end. So then what I did, I took a small section of the sound, of that sound file, and just listened to it, just got into the sound, see what patterns came from it. So this is about a quarter of the sound. And there's, I can hear a pattern in there, and a melody, and a rhythm. And from that, I took, extracted the sound out from that, which then became this initial piece. Through the process of creating the sound, creating the music, I'm looking and flicking between different pictures of the different marble and just what that represents to me, really how I feel about it, it changes. The more I look at this section, there's a lot of depth within that visually and there's a lot of movement. There's, I could take this image and take this white line here and I can almost hear how that sounds without even putting it into the piece of software. The tone will rise up, it will get more intense with the movement. I'm actually, I'm surprised that I do get a lot from this, from this marble. I didn't think I would get actually. I've chosen to have the sound playing in the gallery space when the exhibition is on. So I'm being sympathetic to the atmosphere of the space, what's happening. I'm linking the sound from the object before, but then also how it will create a feeling within the space.
designer. Oh, I hope you enjoy the inspiration that I've taken from your marble. And uh, yeah, like, like I'm enjoying it. Thank you.